Hey everyone. So this is going to be video number two in the Mass Make March. I feel like there should be the word madness in there. Um, tags. This is an Instagram challenge uh, posted by Studio Lou, L O O. And um, so, yes, day one was making journal cards. I didn't talk in that video. My husband and I have been sick. <laughs> So I did a lot of videos and I just didn't talk, um, but we're feeling much better. And uh, so I wanted to kind of explain this. So I'm going to make master boards and then um, just cut them up into whatever it is I'm supposed to have. So I have all those journal cards that I made in the last video. Um, the back, I was, I kind of just put a big sheet of coffee dyed paper and a couple little journal cards. Um, however, um, I watched a Roxy, uh, Roxy's creation video from last year, uh, in February before the 100 day, because she was talking about maybe doing it. And on the back, she was using different shades of dyed paper and straw paper and, you know, even little you know, backs of, or the edges of book pages. Um, so not only does she have a collage on the front of her tag or card, but also on the back. All right, so um, this was a piece of scrapbook paper I was gonna do something with and I messed up. So I have this random sheet that is like five and a half, a little over five and a half inches. Um, so I'll use that. This one I might just keep blank. Um, yeah, I think these that are thick, I'll just leave blank on the back because you can write on the back for journaling. Um, I have that hot pink one that was just sitting out. This one that I punched a purple circle out of. Um, but when I use, oh, hang on, let me reach and get something. So at my Hobby Lobby, um, in the clearance section, every once in a while, they have these single sheets, like a pack of 50 of them for like five bucks. And you get like, uh, it's almost like 10 of each print. Sometimes that's not true, but <laughs> sometimes you get about 10. I wouldn't say you get more than 10 of a print, but uh, it just depends on the package you pick up. Um, so like, that's not super lovely to me. Um, but hey, I mean, it was what, like 10 cents versus the original 69 cents. And, um, I can collage. I mean, it's not bad, but it's, um, 10, 10 of them. I don't think I need 10 of them. <laughs> so, um, like the other day I collaged on top of that. And then I put the coffee dye paper in the back because you want to cover that up. And plus this is thinner. You're going to need something to make it thicker. So, um, if I get to this one today, I'll be putting something on the back. Um, but every day there's a different mass make. So it was journal cards. Um, today is tags. Let's see. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, Friday is pockets. And then Saturday is belly bands. And then there's fabric flips and clusters and page tabs. So, um, Sorry for all that noise. Um, so check out Studio Lou, Studio and then L-O-O -O on Instagram. It's Mass Make March. Um, so if I get to this one, I'll put some stuff on the back. But that's not my priority one page today. I'm going to do these three for sure. So I just want to come on and explain that because I'm going to speed up the rest of this uh, video when I'm collaging because... Um, I do sit here and talk to my husband and sometimes we play the TV and sometimes we play music and um, you would be bored to tears. So <laughs> watching me collage and uh, when I have such fun music that you can listen to, you can always turn my music down and turn on your own favorite music. Um, I do appreciate you stopping by and watching. So um, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye now, uh, but stick around and watch me make some tags to use at a later time. So thanks for stopping by and sit back, relax, enjoy some tunes and let's get cracking.
Well, everybody, I was, I did this one, and then I collaged this one, and I was almost done with this one. And I looked over at my computer, and I noticed it was close to the 30-minute mark. So I have to do mine in 30-minute increments, or, you know, it automatically ends the, the clip. So I stopped it. And while it was processing, the software glitched. And I was only able to recover like nine minutes of my 29 minutes. So that being said, I thought I'd come on, let you know what happened. And I'll go ahead and talk you through um, how I'm cutting my tags here. So, Um, so this one I stuck uh, with text pages. Uh, there are actually a few. This and this are um, digitals. Like this was part of a scrapbook. So it's not a digital. I purchased offline, but, you know, out of a pad of scrapbook paper. And this was, um, you know, part of a set of some of these um things that you would get like on aliexpress you know sets of papers um so it's talking about eggs and, and you know bug eggs and stuff so anyways uh so this paper is i think we measured it was like a little over five and a half so my tags are gonna be five and a half tall and when they're usually if they're five tall i do two and a half width so see how wide this is so 12 um so if i did 12 divided by two i can get six tags i stuff with the two hang on everything's falling now okay where's my two there's my two that seems kind of small so let's if i do three do two and a half Two and a half seems small since it's a little longer. Let's just go with three. Usually if I do three, it's six inches long. This is almost six. So I think that would balance well. Uh, now, sometimes I flip them over um, when I have a big card. Um, but since I'm only going in one direction here, I'm going to go ahead and look at what I'm cutting. Since it's really text, I don't have to worry about cutting the head or legs or anything off of a picture. Um, so that turned out nice. That's a little piece of coloring book. Uh, I like that one. Let's see here. That's nice. And yeah, that one's got a little bit of text on there. All right, I think that turned out nice. And of course, they're just blank on the back. Um, so you can just do whatever else you want to do to embellish, decorate the front. Um, and cut the um, corner. So we'll do that at the end. And then the back you can just write on. All right, let's measure this short one. This is the one that had the circle in it. I just sliced that part off, which I don't think you got to see. So this is about eight and a half by seven and three quarter so let's see so if i do four and a quarter let's do these will be small tags all right that's the three that's the four and a quarter right there Right, and then what was this again? This is seven and three quarter. So we'll do two and a half. Two and a half. <laughs> two and a half. Two and a half. And then this one will be three. Two and three quarter. Well, that'll be okay. Yeah. 
Let's do that. Two and a half. Two and what if I do two and three quarter here? Do that. There we go. That way we got a little more piece on there. All right. And then same thing here. Um, we start with the two and three quarter. Two and a half, two and a half. Okay. All right. So this is just an um, eight and a half by 11. So do I want to cut it this way? Four and a quarter. I guess so. Okay. And then we'll do um, two and a quarter, quarter, quarter. Two and a quarter. Two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. And we would do two, two and a half, and so two and three quarters. Let's see. Let's do two and a half here. I like that one. I added some pattern paper over top because that pink was showing through. I didn't do it there, but I can always go back and do that in the middle of a collage. We'll see. Two and a half is there. Two and three quarters is there. That's going to chop off a little bit. I'd rather kind of go through the middle of that so you get a little bit and a little bit. Uh, I need to probably glue that. All right, so what do we have left? We've got six inches. So should we just do three and three? It's all right, six inches. Yeah. Or just do three and three. There we go. All right. So we did a Two and a half. Two and a half. And a three and a three. Turn that off. Okay, let's cut the corners. All right, scissors. So the trick is to have a tag already cut or, you know, snip a corner and then just share it on each side. And I guess I'm about to do that because I thought I had a tag handy. So what do we want to be on the top? Maybe this part. Yeah, let's do this part to be the top. One down. Now I can use that one to cut against these here. Now if I cut that, almost all going to go away. I got that. That's almost all going to go away. I think I would lose more of that piece. All 
All right, so I'm going to kind of speed this up as I cut those, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, this is um, software tonight. It's just playing games, so I know you didn't see all of those. But there's 18 tags uh, ready to be decorated, embellished um, for your needs. You know, I've got a lot of neutrals, so those will work in a lot of your journals. You've got some that do have some floral digitals on there. You can use scrapbook paper. You can use... Um, any paper <laughs> that you want to use. Um, construction paper, wrapping paper, magazines. If you, wanna, if you find some cool uh, prints, uh, tear out what you like and save it and use it when you do some mass making. And then when you're ready to journal and you need a tag, you just find one that suits your needs and you don't have to make uh tags so 18 out of uh two papers that were just sitting around need to be used and a hot pink one that was waving at me and said me 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 so i did <laughs> um all right so once again this is mass make march posted by studio lou over at instagram um go ahead and go check out the list um there might be a few days i don't do um but I even put it on a calendar. So <laughs> what's what's what? I do have um, a trip coming up. So um, I'm going to have to maybe make some ahead of time. But like I said, I'll be skipping some too. So I needed to figure out which ones those are or which, which days those are on. All right, everyone. Well, sorry that I lost some of my video footage. Um, but I do appreciate you for sticking around. I'll give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, consider clicking the subscribe button. And if you have already subscribed and you keep coming back, I surely appreciate you and your time. All right, everyone. Until the next one. Bye-bye.